play another song? Yeah, I'll do another song. Um, this is a song called I'm Sorry. It's uh, actually available on my MySpace. I got uh, 10 free songs thanks to the fact that MySpace increased their uh, limit. So just go to myspace.com slash Ryan S. Hammer, of course, after the program is over. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the song's called I'm Sorry. that feeling that I just got when I stopped the song. Um, I don't care if it's one person, I don't care if it's a million people, obviously I've never played into the, in front of the ladder, but um, it just seeing somebody's reaction or looking up at them after I've done something that I love, it's just like, it's like reciprocal, you know, you yeah. get that energy when somebody's listened to it and they actually feel what you've done. Um, so that's, that's the great feeling that keeps me playing. Yeah. I remember the first time that I played, I was 13 or 14, and it was at the, this high school open mic type deal, and my buddy Jahan, uh, he was like, Hey, you should go up there. You know, you're really good. We heard you play at the party the other night. You know, and I was like, no, nah, I was just jamming. This is just some stuff I wrote. And he's like, that was original. You should get up there. So I get up there and I played my songs and I closed my eyes. Um, I used to have a huge stage fright. And after I opened my eyes, I saw like all these girls looking at me like I'd never had girls look at me before. You know, <laughs> and I was like, well, okay, taking note. And um, on top of that, a lot of guys were just looking at me like, damn, you know, that's pretty cool. So I just decided to pursue it as my main passion, and um, it's given me complete satisfaction every time. I've never played a bad show, I can safely say. You know, just because I always feel it. So I mean, if you're doing it and you love it, I guess it's really it's, it's just like doing the radio. Yeah. yeah. And, and I can tell you love it too, because like right, right when I walked in the studio, by the way, guys, like I, I know listening, you never get to see um, Ross doing this unless you walk by the window, which I've seen a lot of people do. But when I walked in, I just saw like like this this light up in his in his face, you know, just doing it. Like he enjoys what he does. So it's like if you're listening out there and you're a regular listener, this guy definitely works hard. I've only known him for about an hour right now, but um, <laughs> awesome guy. So glad glad to be here. <laughs> That's great. So uh, like, uh, what, what kind of like venues you like to play at, like? Um, my favorite venue growing up was the 930 Club, which I'm sure a lot of people feel me out there. Um, it's just such an awesome place to go, and, you know, the, the talent's been up and down over the years, but the, the bands that I saw when I was growing up, like New Found Glory, did some amazing shows when I was a teenager, going through my little pop-punk phase and everything, which um, I'm still not over. 
Um, and, you know, uh, like Record Theater does a great job up in Towson. That's a really, really awesome venue that I've gotten to play at, uh, unfortunately. And uh, the Brass Monkey was a great small venue in Baltimore. They really don't pull a lot of people in there, but they're awesome. Um, if you go and check that out. It's just like, if I get a feeling about a venue when I walk in, it's typically pretty good. You know, if I don't get any kind of feeling and it just feels like another place to play, then, you know, it's yeah. just, just that. Yeah. You know? I mean, before we were talking about the Rock and Roll Hotel. Oh, yeah. Like that. Great venue. Yeah, Great venue. Exactly. And, and an awesome addition to D.C. because I think we needed a lot of style in a venue. And I think they definitely speak high volumes. Yeah, when, when you walk in that place, you know what's up, you know. So big ups to Rock and Roll Hotel. And, uh, and Steve, you know, we'll be setting something up pretty soon, hopefully. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, I haven't been to the 930 Club yet, but uh, I, I was looking last night at some concerts, and they had a lot of bands that I wanted to see, and it wasn't like really expensive, it's like $20 to yeah. see. Yeah, which is affordable these days, because if you look at, you know, like a night on the town, you can spend 50 bucks yeah. drinks easily in D.C. Yeah. I mean, I'm a server at Chicha Lounge, so big ups to Chicha on U Street, come and see me sometime, <laughs> I serve nice hookahs and mojitos. Yeah, I, I saw, a year ago I saw... Um, Ozzy Osbourne or like Rob Zombie. It yeah. was like seventy five dollars a ticket, and it wasn't. It was, wow. It wasn't really. It was a good show, but it wasn't worth seventy five dollars. Right. In the end, you're just like, man, I couldn't even get a beer because I, you know, like it's like yeah, I spent like, all my money was, on the it was, ticket. It was like Madison Square Garden. So yeah. I mean, like, and honestly, I'd rather go to like Meriwether or something, you yeah. know, which which I just heard that they changed a lot of rules around there. Like, I, I don't smoke cigarettes, but I think one of the best things about Meriwether was that field where everybody got to chill out, and apparently you can't smoke cigarettes anymore, or you, or any clothes or any any type of deal out there so I feel the sympathy in Columbia that's actually where I'm from so Columbia I feel I feel your pain <laughs> but um speaking of Ozzy though I wanted to touch on that that it was awesome that Ozzy did the free Ozfest a couple yeah. years ago if you remember that <laughs> I went to that out in California um actually I drove up north about two hours with my friend we had great tailgating parties and I mean everything was fine to spend money on beer because we didn't spend any money yeah. on tickets so uh, and me and my friend Brian actually tried to get like, cause you had a, you know, you had like a little code, I think, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, we, for some reason it didn't work for us. It made oh man. Sense. You know what you should do? You should write Ozzy a letter. <laughs> yeah. I think that I think he is that type of person where he would probably just sit there, like you know, buzzed out of his mind. Oh, Sharon, Sharon, I need, I need another letter to read. I'm shaking. You know, like I love Ozzy to death. But that guy is hilarious to watch. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I'm I'm guilty of downloading the Osbournes first couple of seasons. So yeah, like um. He was funny doing his con. I mean, he couldn't hit any of the notes. He kind of the only reason like everyone was cheering is because they were all singing along. Right. right. Yeah. And then like someone threw a bag of uh, marijuana on the yeah. stage. He's like, "What is this?" <laughs> He's probably like, "This stuff used to look like planets when I was smoking it. You know, it had all different colors in it. Now it's just green. What's yeah. what's up with that?" Yeah. I, I would love to see Ozzy like try and reach out to the kids with yeah. their language these days, you know, because yeah. there's so much different slang that, you know, he's not used to. Like, people are probably like, yo, Ozzy, you're so dope. And he's like, dope? What'd you call me? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And actually, uh, my friend Brian, like, he saw Metallica, I guess, last December. Yeah. And they were coming back to Madison Square Garden. He goes on, like, the first ten minutes you can get tickets, all sold out, like, oh. instantly. You know? that's, that's Metallica for you. Yeah, I saw him in the Sanitarium tour a couple years ago. Amazing. Great band. Yeah, it is. But, you know, so I, I, that's what I love. Like, uh, you, do you go, ever go to Shamrock Fest? Or uh, no, but I've heard about it. And yeah. friends have invited me, but I wasn't busy. It, it's like, it's $20, but you get to see all these great bands. Oh, yeah. I got two of the bands that are, well, one came on the show, another one's coming on. They actually, we met them at Shamrock Fest, and we got to see them. It was great. Nice. Where's it held? RFK Stadium. Okay. Like, yeah. Nice. Is it, is it coming up, or do they already have it? It's Different every March. March. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Okay. But, you know, yeah. luckily there's enough things throughout the year to, to get drunk for, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know about it. <laughs> oh, of course not. <laughs> Just like we're mentioning marijuana at the festival. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I could play another song if, yeah, uh, if people out there want to hear it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs>